Is it on? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Just going to. Ah, there we go. How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. Just going to move this to the right page. How's everyone doing? So excited for you to be here right now. Go ahead and say hello. Tell me where you're from. Just, um, I've never done this before, so I'm trying to figure out how to make sure this is being seen by everybody. But I think we're good. If you can see me, if you can hear me, say hi, hello. There's a little helper today. This is my little witch, Aiden. We just went for a walk this I'm morning, um, searching for dragons. It was very exciting. Oh, he's a werewolf, sorry. <laughs> so, welcome you guys. I'm so excited to have you here for the Yule Ritual. I'm just going to give <clears throat> a couple more minutes as people log in. Hello from the UK, Ukraine, Pennsylvania. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, if you've brought your tools, your supplies for the ritual, wonderful. We've got our stuff here and Aiden is going to join me. Um, if you don't have it, that's totally okay. You can do it at a later time or you can just tune in with us energetically. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Libri. I'm a generational psychic and witch, and I've been on this path and journey for my whole life, um, learning both ancestral magic um, as well as just kind of nature medicine and traditions and kind of everything I can get my hands on. So my journey is to is to help teach that magic is not some out of this world, um, hard to grasp thing, that anybody can do it. Can anybody I... can do it. Yes. Can I have my jar? Yes, you can have your jar. Um, and just kind of make it appear to be a normal thing and show how you can do it normally in your life every day. And it's easy and awesome. So I wanted to start with a, um, a little story. I think I was in high school. Um, I was homeschooled and my mom was telling me about, don't get your hands stuck. <laughs> my mom was telling me about this, um, uh, what's it called? Like a test, I guess, um, where they took a large room and in the center of that room was a baby grand piano. And they had a whole bunch of children and one at a time they would put the child, one child at a time, into the room and they said, explain the room to us. And they would say, well, it's four white walls, a window, a door, and a piano. And <clears throat> so the people ho holding the test said, no, there's no piano in the room. And so they would do this over and over and over and over again. They'd take the child out, put it back in, explain the room, tell them, no, there's no piano in this room. And eventually the children would stop seeing the piano. And they would still walk into the room and walk around the room completely avoiding where the piano actually was, but they could not see it anymore because they were conditioned to believe that there was not actually a piano in that room. So the interesting thing about this is, oh, I'm not ready quite yet. Ah, but I am. <laughs> the interesting thing about this is, even though they could not see it, they could still feel it. And so I'm kind of using this as an example today. Magic is that piano. So some of us are kind of conditioned, especially in society today, that that piano or that magic, that intuition, it doesn't exist. 
but even those of us that have been so conditioned that we can't see that piano anymore, we still feel it. We still walk around, we still feel something is there, just like those kids couldn't see the piano anymore, but they could feel that there was still something in that room and they would walk around it. So my journey is to help you, teach you to re-see that piano, but not only re-see that piano, learn to play it, learn to dance around it, and just... I'm just going to go for one of you. Okay. <laughs> um, and just find the magic and the beauty and, and all of that again. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more. First, we're going to do our Yule ritual. This is family friendly. Your kids can do this. So let's just jump right into it. I think we've got quite a few people in right now. I got Wolfie. <laughs> Alrighty. So if you have your supplies, oh, let me tell you about Yule first. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself. <laughs> so the winter solstice, for those of you that may not be aware of what the winter solstice is, it is the shortest day of the year, meaning the most darkness. And what we do is we celebrate the return of the light. So the rebirth of life coming back in. So what this ritual is, it's a offering, I guess you could say, to bringing in that rebirth. We're not only bringing it back into the world, but we're bringing it into our specific lives. So this is very easy to do. Um, I love doing stuff like this because this is kind of like traditional ancestral magic to me. It's things that people not specifically spell jars maybe, but the plants that we're gonna use, the salts that we're gonna use, the essential oils, stuff like that. These are all things that people used thousands and thousands of years ago. So I love stuff like this because it really feels ancestral and old. Yes? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, are you but ready? Mama, what? Are we gonna leave my rock in here forever? Yes, if you want to go get a different stone, go get a different stone. Wait, we're not going to leave it here forever? I mean, for a while. But not forever. Mm, you can open it next year. Next year? <laughs> if you want to go get another stone, you can. Yes, because I don't want to leave this here forever. Okay. So, <clears throat> we have our jar. This is just gonna kind of hold our space for us. All right, we're gonna put everything inside of this. We have salt. This is for protection. Salt's been used for protection for thousands of years. Um, we have our pine. I actually have a few different types. We collected it while we were outside pine, cedar, spruce, whatever you connect with. Um, any type of evergreen, really. Because um, <clears throat> back in the day, as the sun was fading and they were afraid that the light would not come back, they would go and give offerings to the evergreens because those were the only trees that still had life on them. So they're a very sacred tree, especially in this time of year. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Here, come sit right here. Um, so these, whatever tree that you use to plant, you could even use holly, anything that was green all year long. And these represent the rebirth, the life coming back, the life that we want, the rebirth that we want to have in our lives. Um, we also collected a couple pine cones to add in, just kind of for fun. And then we have cinnamon. I couldn't find a cinnamon stick, so I just have ground cinnamon. Um, this is for luck, but it's also to enhance the magic. We have peppermint or spearmint oil. I only have peppermint oil. <laughs> the Daga's rune. If you connect with this, great. If not, that's totally okay too. The whole thing about this jar is that you're really kind of just following your own intuition. What to you feels like rebirth? So this rune, I'll hold it a little closer so you can see, this um, stands for the dawn. So because we're welcoming the light back, this is a perfect rune to use. So you can write it on a piece of wood 
or just on a piece of paper or even right on your jar. Mama, you can open the present. <laughs> no, not yet. Um, okay, so the next we have, oh, I have our crystals. This is the only crystal that I could find right now. Everything else would not work for this specific thing, Ow. so I just have quartz or whatever crystal that you have for protection or grounding. Anything works. I'm just going to put it here for now. Okay, I'll just put it right here. And now this is the most important part of this ritual. We have our piece of paper and our pen, just somewhere, right here. So I want you to just take a moment Mama, before we begin any of this. Can you do it on the side because I want to do it too? I got your paper right here. Oh, yay! Where's... And I'm going to go get my pencil. Okay. Um, I want you to just take a moment and really look forward into this coming year. So just the 12 months from now, just one cycle. And I want you to really imagine and visualize what you want your life to be like, what rebirth you want to have happen in this year, this coming year. Yes, baby, you can. But write what you want to happen in this coming year, okay? So do you want um, happy energy, fun adventures, new explorations? It's easy to, this is a good one to do with kids because you can keep it simple. Um, you can make yours a little bit more intimate or difficult um, if that calls to you. So just take a moment and really think Put your intention into this. Um, just really paint a picture on what you want your year to look like this coming year. A star. Oh, you did a pendulum. Good job. Beautiful. Aiden made a rune. Okay, so we're just going to write our intention right now. Hmm. And then when you've written it down, just go ahead and fold it up. I made a bird footprint. Yes. Me too. <clears throat> All right. So before this, I just want to take a moment and place that paper between your hands. You're going to meditate for oh. a second, okay? So place it between your hands if you'd like. And I want you to just close your eyes with me for a minute. And take a couple slow, deep breaths. As we really shift and focus our energy around the intention that you put on this piece of paper. And in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine that there is a flower blooming at the crown of your head. And as that flower blooms, a beam of pure white light comes down from your universe, from God, whatever you want to call it. And it comes straight down through that flower, through the crown of your head down through your third eye, down through your sh throat chakra, and into your heart space. And just feel it for a moment growing in your heart space. And 
And then that light moves from your heart space out through your arms and out through your hands into this paper as we activate this intention. So just really feeling that light flowing down through you and into that intention that you're holding. Really visualizing it as if it's happening right now. Really feeling the emotions that go along. <sighs> Just saying thank you. Warming it up. Alrighty. I made now. a I made a star one and a little and a moon one. Oh beautiful. What's this? A werewolf. A werewolf on your intention. Are we going to find a werewolf? In the, at the gardens. This means love and this means happy. Oh, I love that. Love and happiness. All right, so we're going to take... Hey, everybody. I'm seeing your comments. We're going to take our jar and we're just going to start to fill it up. I'm going to start with the salt. Put a little bit in your jar. Can I put a little bit in my jar? Mm hmm Would you I like to do it by yourself? I already, I already put all the ingredients in. Do you want to do it by yourself? Yeah. Can you tell me how much? Maybe as much as you want. Um, as much as I want? Well, not all of it. I know, not all of it, but... Oops. <laughs> do you remember what salt is for? Protect... For protection Thanks. from... Like protection, Saul is is protection from witches, bad witches, bad energy, bad energy. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, and then kind of whatever you feel drawn to. Oh, we have rosemary too. I forgot about that. Rose. Oh. Um. So just I'm gonna put my evergreens hey. in. Oh look, I got some for you right here. Oh, well, that's yours. It's okay. Wait, where's my that? This. Wait a sec. This is that. Oh, I picked this one special. Oh, the one you picked today. It's in my coat pocket. No, that one. What's that? Where's that? Where's I my picked that, that special from for me yesterday. Do you want your special one that you picked today on our walk? It's in my pocket. I'm going to go get it quick. So as you're putting each thing in, just kind of spend a moment with it. Um, just feel the intention behind it, feel the energy that it holds, and really thank it for being a part of this today. So we're just gonna add all of these into our little jar. It's a little big. There you go, just a little piece. Like this little piece? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put in. This is like a banana. This is like a banana. <clears throat> Your stone. There's a piece of rosemary. Did I give you rosemary? Huh? Are you ready to put it in? Yeah. See? Rosemary is for clarity. So to bring clarity to your intention. Your rune, if you feel drawn to that. A couple drops of oil. Ooh. Your cinnamon stick or ground cinnamon. Can I put this in? 
A rose petal? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to put a rose petal in. Boop. And, oh, it smells oh, delicious. Here, you want to put oil in yours? Oh, wait, smell mine. Oh, yeah, can you smell mine? Mm -hmm. Very nice. And cinnamon, do you want to do it? Yeah. Just a little bit. Well, as much as I like, because I want to do this. These are great for kids to do. They're so easy. They're fun, I... creative, and they kind of help introduce that magic. So we're not telling them that the piano doesn't exist. We're telling them that it does. Just keeping that alive. And then, most important piece. Oh, I see. Please your intuition, or your... I need the scissors. Can't think. Your paper. Intention. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. So put that right in. Close it up. We have a cute little jar. And then you're going to take your candle. I could only find huge ones. Um, I'll have to do this later. So if you have one like this, just melt the bottom of it or whatever kind it is. You'll need to melt the bottom a little and stick it on the top. Make sure you have the candle somewhere where the, mac where the wax can melt. Um, because what we want to do is we want the wax from the candle to seal the jar. Okay, this is sealing that intention in. It's sealing that ritual. All right, so in your own time when you're ready. Yes, baby, you can put that in. Perfect. No. Okay, now the top. Look at my top. It's blue. <laughs> my favorite color. My favorite color mm -hmm. is blue. All right, so his, Wait, his top is a little better because it's flatter. I can't like burn scissors. I guess so, yeah. I know. Wait, stop. I want it. I want yours. I have mine. Okay. So you just need to stick your candle to the lid. Make sure it's on a plate or somewhere safe. You're not going to burn the house down or ruin anything I, from the dripping wax. I am. Um, and then light it and let it go all the way down if you can today. If it takes a few days, that's okay. Um, just be safe about it, obviously. And then you'll have a sealed spell jar inviting in rebirth for this year which is so fun and exciting right yeah yeah now can i open the thing oh yeah wait are we supposed to keep this on for a long time or are we just kind of put it on for a second and and light it up until the wax melts on it and then we can take we're it gonna off. light it up until it goes all the way down and all the wax melts and closes the jar but, that makes sense. But then how are we going to open it? We're not going to. But you said we're going to open it next year. In a year we can open it. Okay. We'll just twist the top and it will break the wax. Oh, that sounds easy. <laughs> I'm Aiden. My cheeks are red. Yeah. So this is so much fun. Again, it's a great family thing. Um, the part of it that's really special to me is that it helps teach our kids that these things are real, um, that they're simple, that they're fun, that they're creative. Magic is not about following an exact rule book. Um, if anyone tells you that, they're completely wrong. <laughs> Don't listen. It's creative. It comes from the heart. It comes from your intention. And the more that we can explore with our children um, and with ourselves... The better. The more we can spoil of our children and have fun, the better. Yes. Um, but the more that piano becomes clear to us. So I'm <laughs> super excited to um, share with you guys that I am going to start a new community. It's called the Goddess Gathering. And it's where once a week we're going to get together and we're going to do something similar um, we're going to go way deeper though. We're going to go much deeper than just spell jars. We're going to really make that piano come to life. 
Um, and beyond that, we're going to learn to play it. We're going to learn to dance to the music. We're just going to get so deep with bringing magic into your life, learning how to use your intuition, learning how to use your spiritual gifts, um, and all of that amazingness and, and wonderfulness and how to integrate it with your own family, your children, yourself, your business, all of that. So something so simple like this can really plant a seed for something much bigger. So I'm so excited. Do you guys have any questions? Let me see what some of you say. I'm going to make it tomorrow. No worries, you guys. Make it whenever you want. Oh, and the winter solstice is the 21st. Can you open it? I have a little more to so, Yes. Um, the winter solstice is the 21st. We're just doing this early because the 21st is our Yule. So instead of doing Christmas on the 25th, we celebrate on the 21st. Um, so that's why we're doing the event a few days early, but if you're not doing it today, that's cool. You can do it tomorrow or the following day. I don't even know what today is. The 18th. That's right. Um, so yeah, you can do it at any time. Tell you more about the community. Yes. Yeah, so this community, it's going to be um, a Facebook group that you guys can join. And every week we're going to do something magical, something completely awesome. I'm going to teach you everything that I've learned in my lifelong journey. Um, but I'm always learning, so no doubt I will also learn from you. We're going to do spells. We're going to do rituals. We're going to learn ancestral magic. I'm going to teach you how to open your third eye, how to connect on your intuition, um, how to use your abilities, how to see into the spirit world. There's so many things we're going to do. I'm so, so, so excited about it. Um, yes, Rebecca just posted a link right there with some more information. If you guys want to look more into that, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. How many? How many what? How many things? So many more. Yeah. We're going to do something every single week. I remember when you said this is your first time? Yeah. It really is because your cheeks are red and your chest and your chin is red. Yeah, because it's warm in here. We're trying to heat up. So yes, lots of fun stuff to learn, you guys. Um, some things that we can do with the family as well, because obviously bringing those generations up in this magic is so, so, so important to me. Um, it's a really deep part of that ancestral magic that I have connected with um, healing from past generational lines from the patriarchy, all of that kind of stomping down magic and believing or teaching uh, family lines that it's not real. So thankfully, um, my mother was amazing in raising me, believing in it, believing um, all my gifts were real, showing me how to control them. So it was really wonderful and that's what I do with Aiden. And that's what I would love to teach with all of you guys as well. So it's really easy once you learn how to see that piano. We can play it. We can dance to it. And it's going to be a blast. Um, the best part about this is it's going to be a community of like-minded people. Um, specifically sisterhood. We're going to do a lot of feminine magic. Um, there's a lot of matriarchal lines that we're going to be healing and connecting through. So it's going to be really, really powerful, really fun. So thank you guys. That was super short. Do you guys have any questions? If you have any questions, let me know. I know it was just going to be a quick little fun, fun craft. Did can you I, have fun? Yeah, can I open this now? No, no, yet. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have fun? Yes, but please. What's your favorite magic thing that we do? Or that you can do? Uh, I think magic. Spell jars? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What would, else? Mama, the blue thumbs up is in my mouth. <laughs> You're so silly. What else? Mm, I don't know. I, now I have a a blue thumbs up eye. Mm, it's so like... Um, one of the really easy ways you guys can connect with this season too, um, is just get outside. 
put your feet on the earth, even though it's cold, even though it's snowy, putting your feet in the snow is actually so exhilarating. Um, we just got back from Finland a week ago and it was absolutely vibrating yeah. <laughs> to put your feet in that freezing cold snow and just connect with that energy of the winter and these cold, dark months coming. Um, but yes, so exciting. And I'm so excited to connect with you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. And let me know if you have any questions about the Goddess Gathering community. I will share some links to all of you that joined. And I will speak to you soon. Bye. Now, now can I open this?